G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we have a high top flat brim hat. This is probably one of the easiest cakes you'll ever make. You just need to find something that is circular or print out a circle from the internet and make it the size that you want your cake. Now I had to do a bit of patchwork here, but if you can do two cakes that are circled, it's perfect. If not, just follow this patching work. You just cut something out and pop it in and use the buttercream to glue it together. Once you've got your two circular shapes, fill the cake and then stack it on top and then you're going to slowly taper down the edge so you get this nice dome effect. I mean, you've all seen a hat, you've got one at home, just follow the size and shape of that. I just did a nice high top dome. You're gonna cover that in fondant, choose whatever color you like. I've gone with a purple for Damie Lou, obviously. Lay it over the top and then you're gonna smooth from the middle all the way down around the edge so you get a nice clean coverage and then you're going to get a sharp tool and remove the excess with that excess you can ball it up and then sort of buffer it over the top of it and it'll give a nice smooth finish and then just go around and clean up the bottom and you're ready to move on to the details I used a bit of wire here that just marked out where I wanted the seams to go I wasn't as careful as I thought and I didn't make the brim part wide enough I didn't put a seam at the front so I tried to leave the brim. And then when I did that, I didn't measure out how wide it would be, which is a very silly step. So I got a seam a quarter of the long way of my brim. So once you've done that, go through, get your tool and mark out a double line so it looks like a little seam. And then you can cut out a piece to line across the back and then use something pointy to put in the stitching that's just a heap of dots down either side of the line. Very quick, very easy, very effective. Then I added the little breather holes with some balls of black fondant because I've gone for a black and purple theme. Whilst you're doing this, I recommend that you have a hat there for reference because I put them a little too high. They could have went a fraction lower and I used a tool to put the hole in the middle, just pushing it down, helping it adhere to the cake. Then you're going to get the colour of your choice. I've gone with a matching black for the top part, the little... I don't know what they call the little button at the top. We used to call it a psycho button at school. Anyway, cut out the shape of the brim, making sure it's in proportion with the hat, and then add the little trim at the front to match up with the purple lining you put at the back. Add in some stitching to your brim and you're done. To make this a snapback, you're just going to hollow out a little piece at the back and add on a fondant piece that will look like the snap part. So you can personalize this to however you like, guys. As you can see here, I've done a few designs digitally as well as the Explode logo. Why did I make the Explode logo? It's because I'm going to explode and I want you guys to explode there too. If you don't have tickets, don't fret. I'm giving away two tickets to explode. This is a double pass and the seats are amazing. Luna's gonna show you right here where you'll be sitting through the power of technology. Look, bam, right there. In amongst it all, guys. These are amazing seats for free. All you have to do is go to my Instagram, take a photo of yourself in a funny hat or pulling a face. You have to be in a hat and you have to at reply me chopper79 with hashtag CXCTIX. And in the next week, I'm going to choose my favorite and give you guys a double pass. All information about Explode is in the description. Please check it out and I'll see you guys there in a couple of weeks. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.